what an odd truth it was. Talent, in the eyes of some, could be a stem of a broken person's life, scattered and tangled around thorns. People saw a brilliant rose, yet its beauty masked pain, quite like a benevolent smile faltering within the rain, cold and soaked in a desolate salvation. He didn't know himself without this so-called talent, at least until he heard this very phrase. I thought you stopped painting. I... I did. Why do you ask? How the hell did you even get in here? I, um... No need to find a false excuse. I know you. What happened? No. No, you don't. Not even close. Well, the first time you began painting was in the seventh grade when you lost some soccer game and some artsy jerk told you that sports aren't for a guy like you. So you decided to take up the arts, prove him wrong. Then you painted all throughout high school, even when things got bad at home. And then you kept painting, even when your mother fell ill, right before graduation. That was seven years ago. Ellison, what happened? I, tell me, tell me how you got in here first. Is that really important? Yeah, it is. Either spit it out or leave. I don't even care at this point. I thought I'd turn that off. Seven already? You truly never change. Timely as usual with the sunrise. This is the overachiever over here. I'll change the subject. This is about you, not me. Then explain to me how you got in here before I... Damn it, Valance. You're impossible. Likewise. So tell me, what happened? I don't know if I should. Why not? Because I don't want to be treated like some charity case. Allison. I'm honestly terrified. You're scared? Of what? I don't know. I'm terrified of being alone. Feeling paralyzed. Maybe. I don't know. It's just... I'm... I'm stuck in a place and I... and I can't get myself out of it. And... Things are just getting worse. I just want to paint again. I just, I just want to draw like I used to when I was a kid, but I can't. It's, it's all tied back to regrets. Alex, literally all of it. It's maddening. I just, I want to feel right again. I just, I just, I can't. Allison, slow down. Get your thoughts clear, please. Help me understand. Explain it to me. Do you trust me? I always have. Because I don't. I know it's 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 a pathetic excuse, but I just I can't. Hey. What? It's alright. Take a breath. Talk to me. I'm so exhausted. I know. Allison. Yeah, Val. 
Will you please answer my question from earlier? Honestly, I think I just... I think I just outgrew it. I just wasn't so sad anymore. A lot of people did ask, what did art ever do to you? Well, I truly don't know. I could never muster enough coherent thoughts and string together an adequate answer. It was both a redemption and a downfall for myself. When you get caught in the traps of being good or perfect at anything, it varies. Some thrive while others become deprived of what they used to have. Art allowed me to find myself again after the turbulence. And art was also the reason I nearly buried myself six feet under. Art is full of entropy. I had to stop before the last bit of light escaped me. Dead Rose, Ellison. You have a morbid view of aesthetics. No, I do not. And you need a pair of glasses. No, what I mean is, just because something is devoid of all color does not mean that it's lost its meaning. Some people still admire it for what it once was. Like these roses. Yeah. I guess you're right. Thank you, Balance, for being here today. What are friends for? Apparently a pain for breaking into my apartment. 